you're watching this video, then you probably have an Android tablet or phone that's begun to slow down a little. Well, here are 10 ways for you to speed up your Android tablet in 2023. So I'm going to start off with a brief disclaimer. Some of these tips or these methods are actually very popular and you might have heard of them already, especially if you've watched the two other videos I've made about this topic. Nevertheless, they are still very useful and very effective and they are tips that I personally use. Now, the tablets you're going to see in this video are the Samsung Tab S7 FE and the Samsung Tab S6 Lite. These are two budget-friendly tablets from Samsung. They have a mid-range processor, not a lot of RAM, and overall, the performance is just enough for day-to-day -day tasks. So if you have tablets like these or any other Android tablets and you've noticed that they've started slowing down a bit, then you can use these steps to make them feel a lot faster. The first step is actually quite obvious and that's to close all of the apps that you have running in the background. Now before you click off the video, hear me out. Most of these budget tablets don't have a lot of RAM. The Tab S7 FE I'm currently using only has 4GB of RAM and so did my former Tab S6 Lite. Now with 4GB of RAM, you can't afford to have a lot of unnecessary apps taking up memory in the background. So what you want to do is just every couple of hours, if you've noticed that your tablet has begun to slow down or lag a little, just close all the apps running in the background or at least the apps that you're not using at that moment and you will notice that the tablet has begun to run a little bit faster. The second tip has to do with the applications you actually have on your tablet and that is to declutter your apps. If you're like me and you have a lot of applications on your tablet, some of which you actually even forgot that you had, then you can get rid of them. Some of these applications are actually quite big, especially if you keep updating them. And if you realize you haven't used an application in like a couple of weeks or a couple of months, it might be the right time to actually get rid of it. Now, after you've gotten rid of all those apps that you don't need, you realize that there are still some essential apps, but they take up a lot of storage space, like Facebook, for example. What you can do to mitigate this is to use light browsers and light applications. So you can use apps like Instagram Lite, Facebook Lite, TikTok Lite, and so on and so forth. These light applications take up less space on your device. They are less intensive on your processor as well. They take up less RAM in the background and they also form smaller cache files. So you're actually getting a lot of benefits if you use the light versions of the applications. So if you've got a tablet that isn't at the highest end, it doesn't have a great processor, it doesn't have a lot of RAM and things like that, you should look into getting some light applications rather than using the main full versions of each app. This next tip is going to be particularly useful for Samsung users because we all know that Samsung typically load their devices with some form of bloatware or another. You get different versions of applications. You have two browsers, two phone call apps, and so on and so forth. And there are a ton of apps that you don't necessarily need. Getting rid of all these unnecessary apps will actually go a long way in helping the performance of your tablet. Now, those are just some preliminary tips for you to try out first, but the next couple of tips are going to have a massive impact on how fast your tablet runs and how fast it feels. But before that, if you're still watching the video at this point, then leave a like and vote emoji in the comment section below. And if you've been enjoying the video so far, then a subscription to the channel would be greatly appreciated. Now, let's get back to the tips. Number five, you have to get rid of huge files that are taking up space on your device. Now, it's no secret that the closer your device gets to filling up its storage, the slower it is going to run. Ideally, you should not fill up more than 70 to 80% of the storage space on your device. So if you realize that you don't have a lot of space left on your phone or your tablet, then it's time for you to do some spring cleaning. If you're a Samsung user, the easiest way for you to do this is to go to the files application and then at the bottom, tap on the analyze storage option. From there, it's going to analyze your storage and check which apps are taking up the most space. It's going to show you everything in a categorized view, which files are the largest, what files you have in your recycle bin, and so on and so forth. So you can go ahead and do your cleaning from there. And if you're not a Samsung user, you can just download Google Files as it performs a very similar function to this. Now, the next step is to optimize your tablet as often as possible. And I know I talked about closing your background apps earlier in the video, but this is going to help you do all of that automatically. If you're a Samsung user, what you want to do is just go to your device settings and go to battery and device care. From there, you will see an option called auto optimization. Now, what this does is it will restart your tablet automatically to keep it in the best condition. 
And this only happens whenever you're not using your tablet, so you don't have to worry about your tablet suddenly restarting when you're in the middle of something. Once you turn this on, it will automatically choose the best time to restart your tablet as often as it needs to. Now, the reason it's so important to optimize and restart your device often is the fact that this actually helps your device the same way sleep helps the human body. It helps it to reset some of the processes, clear out some bugs, and even clean out some unnecessary temporary files. So turn on the auto optimize feature now and your device should start running better and if you're not a samsung user and you don't have this feature enabled then just make a mental note to restart your tablet at least once a week it's as easy as that the next step is to keep your tablet updated now i don't know why a couple of people have problems with updating their devices they feel like a new software update is going to bring some new features they don't want or something like that but you genuinely do need to keep your device as up to date as possible because new software updates and new software versions bring not only new features, but they also fix bugs, they enhance security, and they can even make some performance tweaks that would make your device run faster. So trust me, software updates are going to do more good than harm to your device. So I want you to promise me in the comments below that you're going to try to keep your devices up to date. Really? I'll give you a couple of seconds. Go, leave a comment saying, I promise to keep my software, my devices up to date with the soft. You know what I mean anyway. This next step is probably the most popular tip on the internet when it comes to making your device run faster, but it doesn't really make it run faster as much as it just kind of makes it feel a little bit faster. Here's what you have to do. So go to your settings and go to about tablet. From there, go to software information and tap on the build number until you have developer options enabled. So go to developer options and then scroll down until you see these three options, window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. So what you want to do is tap on these options and then change them to 0.5. By default, they will probably be on one. And once that's done, you will notice that your device has started feeling faster. Now, all this does is it just reduces the animation duration to make the device feel a little bit snappy and you can turn off animations totally if you want your device to feel lightning quick but without the animations your device just kind of looks like you know like it's on crack so i would advise you to just leave it on 0.5 tip number nine give your tablet some room to breathe i know that sometimes you get lost in your netflix or youtube or gaming binge sessions but if you notice that your device has begun to heat up a little then it's time for you to put it down and let it cool down there is this phenomenon called thermal throttling and it's a situation where if your device has begun to overheat to a certain extent, in order to prevent permanent damage of the internal components, your device is going to dial back its performance significantly. Some devices might even automatically shut down if the temperature exceeds a certain range. So once your tablet or your smartphone has begun to feel a little bit toasty, it's time for you to put it down. Or if it feels warm all the time, then you might have a defective unit and you need to take it into the customer service store or whatever to get it fixed or replaced. And before we get to the final tip, here's an honorable mention. Go to your settings, go to apps, and then check your largest apps like social media apps, for example. Once you go there, then check storage. You will see that some of them have accumulated quite a bit of cache files. Now you can just clear these cache files because they tend to accumulate and take up a considerable amount of storage sometimes. So if there are some apps you don't use very often or every once in a while, you can just go through your large applications and then clear the cache. And finally, tip number 10, if all else fails, and I mean all else, like getting rid of all your unnecessary apps, deleting large files, closing the apps in your RAM, auto-optimizing your device, Device, restarting and so on and so forth if none of that works there's only one thing left to do factory reset your device now i know this is not what a lot of people want to hear because you might have a lot of valuable data and information on your tablet but if it's running really really slowly you've tried all of the other steps that i have listed earlier and none of them seem to work then you might just need to back up all of your data and give it a good old-fashioned new thing new kit scorched earth protocol get rid of everything on the device factory resets it and it should start running faster and if you try that and it doesn't work then i'm 99 percent sure that your tablet is either really really bad or you just got a defective tablet so you might need to take it in and return it anyway 
those were my 10 steps for how to make your Android tablet run faster in 2023. If you enjoyed this video, then let me know in the comment section below and you can check out any of my other videos in this playlist. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.